All right, good morning, y'all. I was tired last night. I probably sounded crazy as I don't know what. Okay, so it's morning. I still feel a little bit sleepy. <laughs> I might want to go back to bed. And, but let me see. Hey, right, yeah, let's do another random read. Let's pick up the energy for this morning. Let me see what the day is. August the 21st. That's what today is. August the 21st. Yep. Okay, let's see what first card we get up. And I'm still in the bed. I ain't get up yet. I'm going to get up and put my clothes on in a minute. Okay. Thank y'all for all the donations and everything. Okay. Thank you, Angel Mom. Thank you, everybody. Shoot. Thank all y'all. Shoot, I can't remember all your name. But it's a random read. Let's see where the first card come out. Anything coming out? Somebody must be stubborn. Stubborn energy. That's what this is. Uh-huh. <sighs> okay. Ooh. That's good. You got the Wheel of Fortune and the Hierophant. Somebody could be dealing with a Taurus. Don't have to be a Virgo. Okay. <clears throat> somebody dealing with somebody very spiritual. It's going to be a positive change coming for you. Somebody got a love offer coming in. I feel like at this time here, it's like um, just know that, yeah, somebody got a love offer coming in. It's going to be like a soulmate or whatever. And I feel like things is, things is going kind of slow for someone here. Um, it, probably money. And it said that you have to <clears throat> stand your ground <clears throat> with somebody from your past here. I do believe it's somebody who you ain't heard from in a while. <clears throat> I also feel like you've been staying to yourself lately. Okay. Get a collective. Two more cards. Or how Well, shoot. Sometimes y'all be giving more than two. Let's see. Because somebody finna start something new. A new business. Or something like that, too. Whoa. I see somebody um, want to talk to you. You probably gonna get some kind of message. Page of ones. Ooh, coming in quick too. Somebody coming in. Somebody wanna talk to you. Whoever wanna talk to you is kind of upset. It could be some harsh communication. It did say you have to stand your ground. It could be some harsh communication with this person. They say you know this person that's coming in <clears throat> to talk to you. Just be careful about any harsh communication coming in because somebody kind of upset about something. <clears throat> Show <Sure> is. <clears throat> okay. You could be dealing with Libra Gemini Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody could be. I heard wondering what you're what you doing. Wondering what you're doing. Wondering where you at here. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Taurus, Virgo, Libra. Somebody could be watching you. Somebody could be stalking you. I'm going to be honest. Um, I see the lover situation. Whoever this person is, they want to be around you. I did hear. Rock with me tonight for old time's sake. You know that song. Oh, I heard that. So somebody, somebody pissed off at you because they say they love you, <laughs> and you being, you being mean to them or something. You said they were moving too slow. Somebody coming in look like with a proposal, a proposal, some kind of offer here. But right now, <laughs> it looked like somebody hiding, <laughs> or hiding, or you stand to yourself. Wow. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Y'all gotta tell. Them? What else y'all got to tell the collective this morning? Because I see the tower here. 
So there's some unexpected things that could be happening at this time. No lie. Somebody coming in real quick too. What you want? They want they want to get together with you. They want to have fun with you. They want you to rock with them tonight. They feeling like something ain't going their way. They looking at you like you crazy. I did say earlier that somebody could be stubborn. Probably because you 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 left somebody out in the cold. Yeah, you moved on. And there was a breakup. It was. And an ending. So somebody is like feeling like something ain't going their way. Here, they feel left out in the cold. They watching you. They spying on you. They trying to talk to you. Somebody coming in. This person want to be around you. I do see that. The, oh, yeah. They do. Right now, I feel like you need to hold on to your money at this time. Here, too. Who is this person coming in with this communication right here? Somebody's dealing with some kind of karma. That's who that person is. And they had to go to the doctor. And get a shot in their arm or get their blood pressure checked. So, I'm seeing a close connection here. I ain't lying. I heard something crazy. Something unexpected could happen here. This ain't for everybody, y'all. This for one or two person. Two people. Somebody did get shot. And I heard somebody trying to find the next of kin. Now, I don't know who that was for. But I do feel like somebody trying to find. Yeah, because there's some legal issues here. The next of kin. Okay, if this ain't happened yet, hopefully it don't never happen. I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. That's what I'm saying. Anyway. Oh, wow. You're going to get some unexpected money coming into you. A whole lot of love coming into you. Yeah, somebody's going to call you too. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna be honest. Somebody's dealing with somebody with some addictions, drug addictions, or something like that. I want to say too that somebody did a spell, black magic, or whatever, right here. I'm gonna be honest. So somebody do a return to sender, plead the blood of Jesus, return to sender to somebody who did black magic here to mess you up. To make you go through some things. Some tower moments. Because. I feel like because you left this person behind. Whoever this person is that did this. You know them. Right here. They didn't want to see you happy. They wanted to see things in for you. In for you. The tower is here. Um, you left this person behind. Or you don't want nothing to do with this person. Because they was a liar. They didn't keep their word. You didn't trust this person. That's why. That's why they did this black magic to you. Don't worry about that. Rebuke it. Rebuke it. Rebuke it. Rebuke it. Rebuke it. Return to sender. And plead the blood of Jesus over them. Forgive them. Don't worry about that. Yeah, somebody here watching you who hates you. Right here. So, I also see that you're about to get some money, okay? That's for uh, anybody here, especially Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I got a Libra. There could be some confusion around you, though, with the lover situation. Someone is thinking about money. I told you somebody coming in right here. This person thinking about money. They got a lot going on. They was juggling. And they had other options and stuff like that too. You left this person. But this person thinking about money. They having some fear surrounding money issues. They said that they love you. They spying on you too. They want to come in and everything. And talk to you. You will have to stand your ground with this person right here. That wanted to do what they wanted to do. They want you to get along with them. They said they love you. 
They feel like something going they ain't going their way at all. Some of these people had to move here. And you looking at something here too. You looking at something. You are. You've been staying to yourself right here too. You are. And you looking at betrayal. Betrayal. What else you looking at? I'm finna see because it said that you're very intuitive. And you looking at the lovers. The lovers. So this lover was left out in the cold here. Something happened here. Somebody left somebody out in the cold here. Um, I want to say this black magic has something to do with somebody leaving you out in the cold or switching up on you or an ending that happened to you, especially with your money. Um, but it don't matter because whatever they did, they gave it to you. Now, because they sent something at you mm, or did a spell or whatever, <clears throat> you did. You returned the sender. See? Because at first, there was some fierce and running money issues. Somebody was looking at money. Something wasn't going this person's way with money. But because <clears throat> you was left out in the cold, matter of fact, <clears throat> you may have been losing money. The person who did something to you, now you finna get some money here. You finna get some money here. Right here. Hmm. You are. So let me see something here. So it didn't work. Pretty much. Yeah. I said it didn't work. And I said, yeah, they did. They put work. They put they did a money spell. They put work here. But something happened. And now this person is feeling kind of like. Like what happened? Because it didn't work. See, this person looking like <clears throat> upset because it didn't work. They feeling like something didn't go as planned here because of an unexpected time moment right here. And the, the judgment card right here. So somebody called, okay, one of them angels up there called judgment on this person right here. They called judgment on this person right here. And this person feeling like, oh my goodness, that I, I'm feeling some type of way right now because something had ended for them. Now they had lost. Now they they lost because whatever they did trying to hurt you right here, because this person was looking at money right here because you don't have nothing to do with them. See, you moved on, woman to man, towards your happiness here. They wanted to cause confusion for you. But what happened was that they confused now. They say you know it. You know it. They said you know it. But anyway, let's keep going in. All right, y'all. What else the collective need to know? Let's see. Because I'm seeing there's lovers here. But somebody had like a, okay, y'all, you know, whatever I pick up, I pick up. So this player, right? This person wanted to be single. And, and, and they said that you wanted to do you. This person really tempted by you. They is. They feeling like something ain't going their way. They upset a little bit too. And this person right here, they coming in right here to talk to you. Because they feel like you was really good to them. See, because you come off like a boss and everything like that. I keep looking at um, how this person felt because it looked like this person probably... I know this was the past, but we're going to try to talk about the future too, okay? This person looks disappointed. They didn't know what they wanted or nothing like that. So there was a broken heart here. This person right here disappointed because you won't take their offer or something. Okay, somebody you wouldn't take an offer from. Came in right here. They upset too because you wouldn't take an offer here. Uh-huh. See, there was a broken heart here. See, somebody was jealous of you and everything like that. I feel like, but you caught on to this person. You did. You saw something here. Somebody had they Yeah. You knew something here, okay? It said that you were very intuitive anyway. So you're supposed to get a, you probably got a small offer here, okay? That you didn't take. You didn't take. Somebody said they, they were trying to be nice to you. 
But no, -uh, this person was trying to play tricks on you, though. Okay, because you were dealing with some kind of narcissist or something like that. I ain't lying. I feel like you done pissed somebody off, too. I'm for real. This person pissed. Um, Because y'all weren't seeing eye to eye at all. I feel like this person right here came off like they love you. They did anyway. Somebody finna find love for real, too. I do feel like somebody needs something from you. Probably money. I feel like somebody needs something from you who treated you wrong. I feel like somebody is going to get in trouble or something like that. I feel like somebody, okay, let me tell you like this. If somebody threw this black magic on you or whatever, or tried to wish bad on you, because sometimes people can do it by wishful thinking right here, because see somebody spying on you, they're coming in right here, and um, they, don't, they don't know what they, they said you're going to have to stand your ground with this person or something like that. See, because you probably was betrayed by this person, but if they did that, I'm telling you right now that they pissed off at you. See, they, they tried to act like they did it. They tried to act like they was giving you something out of the kindness of their heart, but they really wasn't. They wasn't. It was some kind of offer here. Okay, I don't know if y'all know about that story, but I remember hearing about it when I was a young girl. I can't even remember. Anyway, say work hard, pay off. Somebody finna get a payoff. Somebody work hard to get this payoff. That's gonna be some money coming in. But I remember when I was a, I think I was younger, and I remember somebody telling me about a story about um, how this person, you know, gave an offer to somebody that was like really small. That's why everybody try to watch what you take from people. But whatever they gave that was really small was cursed. So, when that person took that offer, they had to pass it to someone else to get the other person this curse. Okay, I'm going to be honest. But, um, in this case, the person gave the curse back. Somebody gave somebody a purse, too. That ain't for everybody. But somebody did. Somebody gave somebody a purse, a pocketbook. And they didn't have no good intentions when they gave you that purse. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So maybe you should give the purse back. Or if you got any small item, get the curses attached to some kind of item. For real. But. Oh yeah. Because. I was, okay. Last night before I went to bed. Hold on. Wait. 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 Y'all wait. Don't call me this. Don't call me yet. Hold on. I'll call you back. Last night before I went to bed. Something strange happened. For some reason. Okay, if you just moved, put it like this. If you just moved, or if you just moved to another address or something something like that. Um, and you brought, like, something with you. Like a broom to sweep the floor with. I'm going to tell you something. Get rid of that broom. Because if you, you're not supposed to bring a broom... Like if you was having like a hard time in a place you had left. Because see somebody had left. And if you was having a hard time from wherever you moved at. Don't take the broom with you. Because when you sweep the floor. In the old place that you was at. You swept out. Uh, you swept the curse out. And then you left. Cleaned up. Left. Pretty much. But then you took that same broom. And brought it with you. So get rid of the broom. Okay, just get rid of the broom. I know this sounds weird, but you can look it up. Because last night I was just sitting in here. And I, I don't know why, but I love to research stuff. I'm, I'm like a serial researcher. <laughs> and some said... The broom. My, oh, yeah. I had the broom in here. I had the broom in here. But I had it up the, to the door upside down. I always keep a broom by my door. And I was just sitting here. I was sitting. I heard something. And I was like, what was that noise? The broom went boom, fell. 
And I had, I had, I ain't gonna lie, I had just sage and everything. So when the broom fell, I looked it up and I said, superstition about a broom. I was sitting and said, if you moved out of a house, get rid of that broom. Man, don't take that broom with you. I'm serious. And I did something else. I ain't going to tell you what I did. And the broom fell and whatever I put over there, it fell too. I said, what the shit? So, yeah, sometimes you can put a, you can bring a curse to you. It follows you. But anyway, we plead the blood of Jesus. We ain't worried about that. Okay, that was a reading. Okay, a random read. It can relate to some people, but not to everybody. Thank y'all, everybody, for everything. I love you and stuff. I ain't trying to scare nobody. But get rid of the damn broom. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you.